The history of the Pareto Principle, often referred to as the 80-20 rule, is closely tied to the work of Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto. Born on July 15, 1848 in Paris, Pareto made significant contributions to economics, sociology, and political science during his lifetime. His observations on wealth distribution and societal patterns laid the groundwork for what would later be known as the Pareto Principle. Pareto's Wealth Distribution Studies, 1906. In 1906, Vilfredo Pareto published his seminal work, Cours d'Economie Politique, Course in Political Economy, where he presented his observations on wealth distribution in Italy. Pareto noticed that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. This observation was not based on rigorous statistical analysis, but rather on a generalization from his empirical observations. Introduction of the Pareto Principle, 1941. The term Pareto Principle was coined by management consultant Joseph M. Giron in his book Quality Control Handbook in 1941. Giron noted the widespread applicability of the 80-20 rule in various fields. Giron, who was applying the principle to quality management, recognized its potential for improving efficiency and effectiveness in business processes. Business and Quality Management Applications 1950s-1960s The Pareto Principle gained popularity in business and quality management circles in the 1950s and 1960s. Quality management experts, including Giron, began using the principle to identify and prioritize the most critical factors contributing to quality issues. They found that a small percentage of causes often accounted for the majority of problems. Further development in management, 1980s, 1990s. The Pareto Principle continued to gain traction in the management and business literature during the 1980s and 1990s. Business authors and consultants such as Richard Koch and Richard Templer explored and popularized the concept in their writings, emphasizing its application to time management, productivity, and decision-making. Widespread recognition and application. 21st century. In the 21st century, the Pareto Principle became widely recognized across various disciplines beyond economics and business. The principle found applications in fields like software development, marketing, project management, and personal development, where the focus shifted to identifying the most critical factors for success and efficiency. Criticism and Variations The Pareto Principle has faced criticism for its lack of precision and its tendency to oversimplify complex situations. Critics argue that the specific percentages, 80-20, are not universally applicable. Despite criticism, variations of the principle such as the 90-10 or 70-30 rules have been proposed, acknowledging that the specific ratios may vary depending on the context. In conclusion, the history of the Pareto principle can be traced back to Vilfredo Pareto's observations on wealth distribution in Italy. Over the years, the principle gained recognition and popularity, evolving from its origins in economics to become a widely applied concept in diverse fields. The Pareto Principle continues to be a valuable heuristic for understanding patterns of distribution and optimizing efforts for maximum impact in various aspects of life and business.